Hi guys, this is Crossy of Eclipse Gaming TV and welcome to part one of my NBA 2K15 uh, My Career series. Now this is a little bit of an odd one. Um, usually for this sort of thing you go and watch it and um, from a personal favourite I like to watch Chris Smoove and what he does with NBA 2K15 and to see an English guy um, running this series is going to be a little bit odd and how much I actually press on with it is going to depend really on popularity but... I've uh, been a big fan of the uh, NBA 2K series. The only thing I've really ever done on them is the career mode, which is something that excites me. And one of the reviews that I've seen for this new game is that uh, the career mode is like a godsend. It pretty much makes this game. So I thought I'd throw it out there and see how we get on. How many more videos of it you see is going to depend on... Uh, as I say, how popular it is with you guys. Um, I know that my audience is very heavily football manager based at the moment. Uh, so it'd be nice to try and branch out to a few different things and uh, try and find something that interests all of you. Uh, so I'm going to start this one out and I'll show you really quickly as we jump into it. Uh, this is the character that I'm going to be running with. And um, basically you start off and you set up your character and the face and the like. And my character looks nothing like me. I tried to work the whole face sculpting thing. And it just didn't work out at all. Um, my nose is abnormally large on the game for a start. And the voices you got Ready to ball. Let's go. sound very American, however you work it. So we'll just have to rock that one. It sounds nothing like me either, but we'll, uh, we'll go with it. Uh, so I'm going to start off as a point guard as my position. It's the position I tend to play and for the most part. Try and mix it up and... And do a bit of everything across the course of the game. But uh, point guard usually ends up being my main save, my main character if you like. And um, reason for that is you've got a lot of variety. You can play in a lot of different ways depending on how you set up your stats. And it's the player that sort of controls it. A bit like the quarterback for um, American football. If you're talking um, English football or soccer if you're American. It's kind of like the, um, the playmaker in midfield that uh, sits there and pulls the strings. <clears throat> And uh, also apologies, I'm not feeling particularly well, got a cold and a sore throat, so if I sound a bit bunged up and have to stop to cough, etc. Apologies for that, I probably should have waited till I was better to do this, but long story short, got to try and work it around when the girlfriend's not here, because she's not that keen on me sitting there playing games, and I can understand that. So uh, yeah, not a whole lot of YouTube time when the uh, other half is kicking around. Uh, so I'm just trying to slot in uh, parts when I can. So let's get to it. I'll try to talk over the cutscenes. Check out my uh, fetching flat. Haven't quite made it to multi million pound contracts yet. With the 60th pick in the 2014 NBA draft, the San Antonio Spurs select Jeremy Brown from Oklahoma State. Nah, this guy, man, he's terrible. There's my guy. Your guy? Your guy? Your guy was told by his agent that he was going to be a late first round, maybe second round draft pick. Your guy's supposed to be in New York with the rest of those charts. Your guy? Your guy's about to blow his freaking lid because dream being in the NBA is still just a dream. Hey, chill, man. I know this isn't how we wanted it to go down. Believe me. Like I told you, you're my last best hope at the agency. If you wash out, I wash out with you. But I was thinking. Maybe this was the best thing that could have happened to you. How you think of that, genius? Better to go undrafted and have a choice than to be picked late by a stacked playoff team where your chances of making the team are about as high as my chances of dating a supermodel. Which, despite my contagious charm, are pretty freaking slim. So what's the move, man? This just affects our timing, okay? Just gotta keep working hard and be ready. Injuries, overhyped draft picks. Sooner or later, players are going to wash out and they are going to call you. You hear me? Yes, <coughs> I hear you. Good. Remember, Jordan was cut from his high school basketball team and made fools pay for it the rest of his career. Use the draft day slight as motivation. A chip on your shoulder at the beginning of a long journey. And like every journey, this one begins with a single step. So your first step to keep working hard and we'll find you a home before you know it all right man i'm believing in you bro make it happen 
Undrafted? Basketball's been my life since day one. What am I gonna do now? This can't be the end. Is my dream really dead? So that's a little introduction to how things have gone. Expected to have been a big pick in the draft. Hasn't worked out that way, so currently I find myself uh, without an NBA team to play with, which is a little bit of a different slant to how career mode usually goes. For the most part, you come through, you get a team, and then you might have issues of not making the get passed down to one of their um, sort of minor league teams, that sort of thing. But uh, none of that here. Starring Mark Cross, yeah, you know it. Staying in shape, working hard on your game, waiting for your shot. Yeah, so when's that gonna be? Because you told me not getting picked was a good thing. It was. It was. This is America. For freedom of choice and all that good stuff. And that is why I'm here. Now is the time. Teams are able to offer 10-day contracts at this point, and I've been on the phone non-stop. There's some definite interest in you. What's that mean? I get to pick where I want to go? Oh, it's not that easy, my friend. But there are several teams willing to give you a, a little tryout, see if it makes sense for them to sign you. Listen, man. First of all, you're not my friend. You're my agent. And second, where's the list? Because I'm ready to play. Keep in mind that these teams have varying levels of interest. If you want the 10-day deal, you're going to have to work a lot harder to impress some of these teams than others. Man, I don't care about that. Where's the list? Okay. Here's the list. Let me know where you want to go and I'll make it happen. Okay, so I've got a choice of teams that I want to play with and uh, this is all going to be quite tough actually. Um, what you get with this game is like a, a teammate grade of how well that you've played. So as you can see on, on the right, um, the team that's got the most interest in me requires me to pull off a C in the uh, little trial half. Um, so. That's going to be a little bit tough. I'm going to have a flick through the list and see if my uh, favourite team, uh, the Golden State Warriors, is in there. And no, um, the guard position is an area that they're not particularly short in, to be honest. And with Stephen Curry ahead of me, the chances of uh, managing to make that team ever is going to be quite tough, I think, or um, for a good number of years. So I'm going to go with the Magic, try and make it as easy as I can. Um, with Peyton and Ridenauer. Uh, 74 and 72, those are the, the two ratings. I'm going to be a bit short of that. I'm probably going to be about 10 short of those two guys. But gives me the best chance to get in. And the Magic are a team with a lot of history. Michael Jordan played there for a little while um, towards the end of his career. Uh, Dwight Howard, one of the best centers um, in the game currently, um, cut his teeth at the Orlando Magic. And they are a team that's uh, rebuilding and, and bringing in some young players and, and trying to get themselves back up to a good spot. So I don't have any particular problem being in that team. And with two uh, weak point guards, there's uh, every chance I've got of uh, making it to the start. So I've only played uh, a very brief amount of this. We it saw plays. You at the draft combine. We liked what we saw. Personally, I wanted to take you in the second round, but the powers that be overrode me. You'll be playing with the big boys now. You'll be running with the twos against the starters. Do me a favor. Sell out every possession. Loose balls, rebounds, hustle plays, running the break. Show the GM he made a mistake in not drafting you. They'll make us both look good. We probably got room for one more player on the squad. Question is, will it be you? Oh, it's not a question at all. It's my spot. These other fools just don't know it yet. So a cocky, angry young kid from everything we've seen so far. So this is kind of the spot I'm in here. I'll uh, run the play, try and get in a bit of space. Look for opportunities to ping a pass. So in this case, I'm going to get in a bit of space. Again, chance of shot fake. Pass that wide for the shot. Assist. No, not quite. But you see, I've already worked myself up to a C-plus rating, which is in the top right from that early little passage of play. The uh, blue arrow on the floor by my player is the guy that I need to be marking. Or guarding, as they uh, call it in America, but same kind of thing. So chance to get on the break. Oh, no. I picked up the interception. And pretty much I'm on the uh, reserve squad against the uh, 
the starters. So good performance here will land me in very good stead. Try and open up a bit of space here. Move to the outside, got loads of space. You can get the ball to me. I've got an open shot. But he's gonna take it all the way himself. Coming back out away. I don't know how I'm gonna run this series yet, because my vid video editing skills, sorry, are non-existent. And that's the guy I'm supposed to be guarding that's well and truly blitz past me, not ideal. Little fake shot. Second time that guy's beaten me. Luckily goes out of bounds, that's our ball. I don't know, it's not, it's theirs. So I'm really not stepping up on defense here. That's the guy I'm supposed to be covering that's uh, pulled out a couple of uh, good scores driving in. But left me well and truly open, go for the shot. Taking down to a C rating, um, playing one quarter here, so I need to uh, try and step that one up a bit if I can. I stand out here in the three point zone because they did give me quite a lot of space. Back here if you want it, son. Time to go alone again, pick up the interception. Or the rebound, sorry. Gotta get these terms right. Gotta try and keep this guy on the outside. He's got a bit of pace and loves to uh, drive in. Maybe I'll have a go at driving myself. Little ball inside. Finish it off. Should be an assist. Oh no. Would have been if he could have finished off that uh, little shot inside. I had to stop the guy I'm uh, defending from uh, breaking through the middle this time. And a chance of me to break in instead. No, not happening. Space, chance for a shot. And yeah, I'm a little bit out of practice with this shooting stuff. It's all on timing. I guess because it's gone into the red, I'm shooting a little bit too uh, too early. Too late, sorry. Holding the button too long. Got good uh, shot defense on that one. Basically in the top right where I've got my grade, it gives you a, a heads up on whether uh, what you've done is going well or not so well. Not getting the luck with the shooting stuff. Made a go, already got myself a B minus grade, so uh, that's enough to get myself on this team. Long range shot. No, not happening. Try 
Try and get out on the break if I can. Getting closer but still can't hit a thing. Kind of a difficult one to try and get into this game because uh, I haven't got the speed or the dribbling ability to go and beat anyone, but I've done enough. I've done enough. Where you headed? Oh, the locker room. Shower up. Good. I just hope none of that game you just showcase washes off. <laughs> what? Man, this stuff don't wash off. It's part of who I am. It's in my DNA, yo. Easy. Your jersey ain't in the rafters yet. Yeah, but... But you lit it up out there. And everyone in this gym, including the GM and the head man, saw it. Alright, so what's that supposed to mean? It means if there's any way to get you here, we're gonna do it. Now get out of here. We'll be in touch. Alright, I'm looking forward to it. So that's going pretty well. See if we uh, hear anything further about it. Have a little chat to our agent. <clears throat> Move, man. What are you doing? We got our foot in the door. The Magic have offered you a 10-day deal. Why not a year? Because you're an undrafted, unproven commodity. But they saw enough to take a flyer on you. So you have exactly 10 days. <coughs> 240 freaking hours to show that you belong. You perform? You got a shot at a guaranteed deal for the rest of the season. We both live to breathe another day. You don't. You got a shot at being last in a long line of might have been. I'm probably out on the street, too. Living in this rat hole. Hold up. Rat hole? This is all I can afford. Because you didn't get me drafted. <laughs> Let's call it a charming fixer upper. Now pack your bags. We're going to the show. Yeah, boy. I'm going to the league. I got my foot in the door, and I'm a. Kick this sucker down, man. Oh, you better. I don't want to ruin any more suits sitting on these vermin-infested couches of yours. Man, this is my house you talking about. Finally. I'm in the league. Awesome. So, chance to hash out the terms of this 10-day contract. You did well in the workout and in the scrimmage. He's a baller. You give him a legit shot, and he's going to make the most of it. I mean, when it comes down to crunch time, there's no one... Ten days, my man. We'll see if he can swim with the big fish. If he does, he might have a shot to be signed for the rest of the year. Maybe might even find himself a spot in the rotation. If not, son, he's back on the streets. You ready? I'm ready, willing, and able, sir. You'll see. Good. Get out of here. You too. Can't say I picked that agent for his negotiating skills, Jesus. Ten day contract is in the bag, I don't think you really need to talk me up anymore. Oh yeah, exactly as I said, a ten day deal, so that'll be about four or five games I've got to impress. And one problem you can see there on the right is like a Twitter feed. And I'm going to be at Mark because a little bug with this game. If you do go and try and uh, do anything with it, it doesn't let you type anything in other than wise. And then you can't get out of it. So uh, I'll leave that well alone, I think, for the time being. Unfortunately, I'm going to be at Mark. Now, what I'm going to do is drop the difficulty down to Rookie just for the time being. What I tend to do... Just while I get a feel for things uh, with the new game is to drop it down to a lower difficulty and then build it up as, as time goes on. Because uh, uh, it starts getting to a point when you're smashing through everyone and it's fun. And then after that you're kind of thinking, no, I need to make this a little more challenging. So, go with this for the time being. Go into our first of our... Uh, games in the 10 day contract and then I will probably play a full game and leave it there. I need to start working on my editing skills so I can trim these down and then I'll probably just jump you guys in at various points throughout my career and so let you know how I'm getting on. Shock the world, huh? Sure as heck don't try. Good. I'm glad you're here. Just remember, it's all out there for you. Work hard, listen, watch how we do, 
and you got a chance to be something special. Now let's see what you got. Now you got a chance you can either be a, a cocky guy down at the bottom, or you can play it cool. I'm nice. gonna play it cool. I'm happy to be here, man. I'm pumped. Let's do it. You can't really get mugged off in the draft and then uh, go in and be all cocky when you make it to the big leagues. At least wait until a year contract signed, eh? Get myself a half decent bit of money in the bank. Let's get to it. We're in Memphis, home of Elvis for this game. Looking forward to getting back to the uh, warm climates of uh, Orlando, Florida, where I've been on holiday for the last couple of years. So I'm kind of interested I end up at uh, Orlando this time around. That's pretty cool. They were pressing A to continue down at the bottom. It will uh, simulate through till I get my nod. About time. Here I come. We're about three minutes into this first quarter. Finally, the pass to Stokes. Unloads from 13. That's in there. Time with the assist. Done Channing Fry there, number eight. Not even bothering to make a jump, particularly. <laughs> Giving it the big in the locker room. Still here for you if you want to work for it. Well, you didn't there, mate. We just watched it. Awkward. Okay, timeout call. Cool. This is my chance to get into the game. Here's your update on the guy that I'm playing. So perimeter is um, sort of outside. Got to make sure that he's not cheating from long range. Actually, that's defense, sorry. That's fine, right comes defense, so. He's going to let me get any three-point shots off. First official NBA appearance from Bronx. Just an amazing story we have here, Clark. Here is someone who has had to stop and fight every bit of the way, but now he's made it on his own to an NBA floor. You know, he got passed over by all 30 NBA teams during the draft, but he stuck with his team, and now here he is. I mean, he's hoping to make the best of him. And let's get this update now from Doris Burke, who's across the Okay, let's get to it. Ball's going to be in my hands. This guy's got a bit of space. Let's give it to him there. I'm trying to open up a bit of room myself. And that's my uh, first point in the NBA. That's a bit more like it with the old shooting. Fade away three pointer. You can see uh, with a fairly low percentage shot like that how the uh, increased difficulty or the reduced difficulty so it's going to help. Little inception for me. Ball in. Chance for an assist. Don't get it, but I'll get a few points up there for uh, making a pass that led to a foul. So one point here to bring us even. Already got three points in the rebound to my name. Not a terrible output. Get involved and I get a good shot defense for my efforts in there. Tayshawn Prince, a terrific player in his time with that championship 
since he hit 30. It's been downhill. He's off on the first. And for Prince, now 34 years of age, with this season and next left on his cut. It's still a smart bet to move. Doesn't make many mistakes. So we go again. See what we can pull off. This guy's getting in too much space. Draws a foul for the reach in. Oh, that'll do. Block shot. I'm on the break. Chance to get inside. No, I don't. Oh, dear. Threw it all the way in that turnover. But I get a nice rebound out of it instead. Okay. Let's settle this down a bit. No ball inside. Chance to the assist. Assist. Okay, that'll do. Pulling some strings here in my uh, first uh, NBA start. Not even a start, actually, just appearance. And another rebound. Rebound number four. Where do I fancy going with this? Try and take it inside. Nah, it's having got the pace. There's the uh, Hail Mary. I thought was a difference. Plenty of offense in this closely contested first quarter of play. Magic out in front, up two. Live from the FedEx Forum, you're watching 2K Sports. Coming up Thursday, January. Okay, we don't need to see that. Let's get back into the action. Up to this point, a closely contested game. I was up back on the bench after that uh, good little cameo to begin with. Got to be pleased with that. And a little chat to this guy here. Check that beard out. Good job on the facial hair, son. Maybe you should spend more time working your basketball. Maybe you wouldn't be sitting on the bench with me. Back in the game. A minute left to go in this uh, second quarter. Nicholson fairly open, but it's closed down. And a pick up a rebound there. And then very swiftly dropping it straight away. Ball inside, chance for Fournier. Brings it home, very nice. Another assist for me. Bit of play there. Memphis leading by nine. No need to rush it. They can play for one shot. And I think they should wait till about the five second mark to go for it. Here's Hoover. He's guarded by Cross. And there's the 
You were a foul there reaching in. That's his first foul. Going a little too keen for the steal. Lee left side. And so that brings the first oh, dude. Plenty happy with that first half. Grizzlies lead by nine. And we'll be back right after this. Okay, guys, let's talk about that first half. We've given this crowd way too much to cheer about. The second half is going to be played on our turn. Yeah. You got me? I thought we'd get much more offense out of the low post. Let's make a serious effort to get the ball into the paint. We need more buckets coming from down low. And we also haven't done as much damage from three-point range as we need to. That's the second fix that has to be made. All right, time to put on our running shoes. Let's up the tempo of this game and make things happen. It's been a struggle so far. That's one thing you don't need a coach to tell you. We got a whole second half to turn it around. Now get out there and compete. Okay, let's do this. Want to improve the uh, three-point shooting? That's fine. I don't mind dropping some bombs from long range. Leave it to me, coach. There's 39 seconds left to play here in the third. So on the floor for Orlando. We're sat out all the third quarter and we are behind. I mean, behind. Hey, 53. When did that happen? Here's Kufus. And there's the rejection. The guy with the crazy beard played too long. Okay, let's get to it. Let's get the ball in my hands, boys. Go for the long ranger, that'll do. There's your three pointers, coach. And you do tend to get away with this quite a lot during the early stages where really. they don't sort of um, respect you as a three-point shooter until uh, you start dropping bombs on a regular basis and then they have to. So I set up Ben Gordon for uh, a long range of there. Been around the league a long time. But he can drop three-pointers. But Ben Gordon's one of those players really that came through very early draft pick didn't really show the potential that you thought he could have done and end up being a bit of a disappointment really but uh, very very strong player still always oh, dangerous oh got assist of the game inside in between three defenders nice and easy pinpoint passing like the uh, shabby Alonso of the basketball world I just get a feeling I'm going to watch this video back and think, oh my, what am I doing, doing commentary on a basketball game? It's going to sound so odd and out of place, but hey. I'm wide open here if you want to pick me out. Dude. Cheers. Got there in the end. <laughs> And what you find is um, my three-point shooting stats aren't going to be amazing at this sort of level, but if you're talking about guys that play at college level, chance to be sort of NBA players, then they shoot three-pointers for hours a day, every day. So if you can get your player completely unmarked, even if that stat isn't brilliant, then chances are you're going to be able to bang some in. Just like that. The difficulty has a bit to do with it as well, but then, of course, you've also got to get the timing right, so... Who knows? But maybe if this is what happens in my very first NBA game, I'm going to end up cranking the difficulty up to pro level very soon. Next up in the 
back at the Bucks following this one. That'll be the first of two straight. See if I can push it inside. No, not happening. That'll do, boys. Starting to bring ourselves back into this game. So four minutes left to go in the uh, final quarter. Pass it out of there, son. Got space here. Let's go help him out. I'll try. That's ambitious. But sometimes you have to wonder about the AI on these games. They do try and improve it year on year, but he's standing there guarded. So no important you stand there calling for a pass because you know sometimes you just ain't going to get it. Tells me wide open. Now I'll go for the pass. Solid. You ain't stopping that. Still got a six point deficit to make up in three minutes. And we're off and running. For the assist. Boom. That's taking me out. Oh, come on. It's running the show there, boys. Take me out and lose the game. Come on now. Oh, well. The threat was there. If I keep this up, chance I might earn myself that contract. Oh, arena tunnel. This is WWE. I'd get my head kicked in here. Hey, Brooke, good job. For your first time out, you look right at home. <coughs> Thanks, man. I just try not to force anything and let the game come to That's me. That's what we do. Too bad your big effort was wasted. Wasted? Yeah. You got yours, but the team didn't. In this league, W's are all that matter. We got to hit it hard again tomorrow. See what we got to do to string some wins together. Hey, man, I'm going to do everything in my power to help this team win. Shoot, I'm just on a 10-day contract, so I'm going to work like there's no tomorrow. Because for me, there is no tomorrow. i got to get signed. That's what I like to hear. If you keep that attitude, you might have a chance to last in this league. Sure going to try. And a little chat with Channing Fry, ex-Phoenix Suns player. Got a good three-point shot in him for a big man. But maybe lacking in a few other areas. Okay, so just really quickly, I'll show you what you can do as far as uh, upgrades go. So you can see the uh, the cost for it. So inside score cost me two forty. On the 60, so what can I do here? I'll stick one on jump shooter. So I've got 300 points to play with. So I'll have one on the inside scorer. So 
you can only improve like a, a group of stats here. You can't uh, go any further than that. So overall 62, as you can see in the bottom right hand corner. Straight up to 63 if I uh, improve uh, Playmaker next up. But I'll probably try and keep it quite uh, rounded. I'd love to be able to use the inside scoring and, and drive in and, and score that way. It's something I've never really been particularly good at on uh, NBA. Need to try and get to grips with the skill side of things. So that's the role I'm going to try and push to the inside scorer tab. But for the most part, to begin with, jump shooting and playmaking. And then that's going to come later is my plan. But uh, we'll see how well that uh, carries on. Maybe I'll, I'll get bored of that and try and change it up and do something a little bit different. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you'd like to see this continue, then please uh, let me know. Drop something in the comment section. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Because there's lots of good stuff in other games that will be uh, quite readily available to you. And so, yeah, any feedback, things you'd like me to improve on, do differently with this series, then, again, please let me know. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, I will catch you next time. Thank you very much.